Hey guys, Brandon here once again with another Mavic video. I recently made a video on how to configure your settings and optimize them for uh, manual video uh, for the DJI Mavic. And so today I'm going to do the same thing but for pictures. So again, out of the box, the uh, the Mavic takes decent pictures. Uh, they like the the aspect ratio is off and all that kind of stuff. So what you really need to do for pictures and video, but this is going to be pictures, you need to go to your manual settings and optimize that for your exact purpose. And that way it's just going to be easier to color grade. Uh, it's the size you want, everything like that. So uh, anyway, without any further ado, here we are at the main menu. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure we are on our picture mode first. So uh, if you see this red button, we're on video. Let's go over here, white button. We are uh, taking pictures. So now we go to these three little bars here and we are on auto. So let's make sure we're on manual. And uh, if you saw my uh, video on uh, optimizing the video settings, pretty much the same thing um, here. It's uh, ISO 100, it could go all the way up to 1600. That is just fake lighting. So it's best to keep that as low as possible uh, because it's just pumping up the shadows and the light and that's just something you could do in post anyway. So no need to do that here. So try to keep that as low as possible. Now in the video uh, uh, settings, uh, I said to try to double your frame rate with the shutter speed. Uh, when you're taking pictures, it does not matter. So you could literally make this um, as fast or slow as you want. Just know that the slower the picture is, uh, the longer it takes to uh, take the picture. It does get brighter. Um, but the uh, like, so you could go up to an eight second long exposure, which is good for night shots. But again, it is a drone. It's not like it's on a tripod or anything like that. So you are going to have a little bit of noise to it. Um, but anyway, and then obviously the quicker the picture is, the darker it is. So obviously the lighting has to work with you there. But it's a quicker picture. So uh, in this setting here, or in this situation, uh, if you guys could see here, it's pretty dark. So I would keep the ISO at 100, and I would probably try, hope, hoping it's not too windy of a day. Uh, and I would probably be right about there or so. Um, but yeah, just for a rule of thumb for next time, I'm going to put it here. Click on the little picture icon here, uh, image size. Yeah, initially it was at a uh, 43 aspect ratio or the image size anyway. And that just does not look good at all. Make sure you're at 16 and uh, 9. Otherwise, uh, it looks, you know, really, really cropped off. So let's go 16 by 9, fill in that whole uh, frame there. Image for, uh, format, this is really important. Uh, out of the box, it's going to be JPEG. Um, I would most certainly recommend RAW. I mean, you could do both as well, but that takes more storage than you need. I just do not mess with JPEG anymore. The first picture I took was with JPEG, and there was quite a bit of shadows in my image, and I tried to uh, bring them back, and it was just too grainy and just not happening. I put it in RAW, and that gives me a lot of leverage to edit my pictures in, uh, in Lightroom and bring out the shadows and just just give me really, really good uh, leverage to, to work on my pictures. Just like on video, uh, auto white balance actually seems to work just fine. Uh, you could always make it a little cooler or warmer in post anyway. So yeah, uh, for me anyway, auto white balance, again, you could just set it to sunny, cloudy, um, or just custom if you want to mess with any of these. So yeah, pretty much same thing applies there. Style, just as important on the video. And I actually have the same settings as my video, which is negative two on the first one, which is sharpness because out of the box it's just a little too sharp. I have negative two again on contrast. You can always bring this stuff back in post. In saturation I have negative one, and like I said for the videos, you could just leave that at zero. Um, but yeah, negative one just to keep it a little bit more uh, constant, or consistent I should say. And again, you could add saturation, contrast, and sharpness anyway uh, in Lightroom or any of, you know, uh, whatever you guys, uh, you know, uh, work on your uh, pictures with. But yeah, I use Lightroom and that stuff just comes back very easily, so I might as well just keep it to where I have leverage. Um, color decent you like that's what I use for video and you know it's I'm not gonna switch it for pictures I could use D log get even a flatter image um, and uh, I should probably try that on uh, pictures anyway but yeah for video it is kind of hard to bring that color back unless you're a really good colorist but yeah uh, or for video anyway I don't know what I said there but yeah if you're doing pictures D Sydney like seems to work just fine for me I'm, I have plenty of leverage like that if you want even more try D log um, art I heard is good as well so yeah that's pretty much it and if we go on this last one here, the little gear, same thing as the video. It's just all personal preference, you know, overexposure warning uh, and uh, long exposure preview, grid. You can just make that just custom. So yeah, that's all personal preference. Doesn't really change the actual image itself. But I thought I would run through those two first ones there. So that's kind of the first thing you want to do uh, right when you unbox your Mavic and you're wanting to optimize it for video and pictures. This video was about the pictures. The last one was about the video. I hope this did something for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.